As the attorney representing Adrian's trust, I'm required to read a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away. Are you okay? What happened to him? He cut his wrists. Per his final wishes, you're getting $5 million. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. He can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. It just doesn't make any sense. What? Adrian wouldn't kill himself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let him haunt you. Hello? I'm scared. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. He was a sociopath, completely in control of everything. He said that wherever I went, he would find me, walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. Are you okay? Someone sitting in that chair. I found something that can prove what I'm experiencing. You need help. Adrian is dead. I went to his house today. He's not dead. I have a pile of ashes in the box that would disagree with you. He has figured out a way to be invisible. Only thing more brilliant than inventing something that makes you invisible is coming up with the perfect way to torture you, even in death. Adrian's true genius was how he got in people's heads. Don't come any closer. Hey! I'm not crazy. Please listen to me. You're saying the person trying to kill you is in the room right now. But we can't see him? He's listening. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself! Come on! Do it! There you are. Don't make you Batman, Mike. Bus, bus, bus. Get me the fuck out of this car. Mike, we got more time behind us than in front. Man, please. I'm gonna be running down criminals till I'm 100. Not me. I'm retiring. What happened to Bad Boys for Life? It's time we be good men. It is bad boy for life. Who the fuck wants to sing that song? Mike, I'm putting you on a new team. You're working with Ammo now. Cap, Ammo is a high school musical boy band with guns. You look great, Grandpa. So you're that guy. There's always one. Right up till there's not. That's what I like, teamwork. I'm the definition of half man, half drugs. That's the club, bad boy, that's the song. Marcus, somebody's trying to kill me. Who wants to kill you? I don't trust a person that don't want to kill him. Hell, put my name up there. Thanks a lot. We got it, Marcus. We appreciate it. But family is the only thing that matters. So I'm not letting you go on a suicide mission alone. One last time. One last time. What I've been through, y'all got drama, the saga continues.
This is my wife's car. Come to the front door. She knows. She always knows. Bad boy for life. Look at this. All those years in the big city, we finally got out. We're living the dream. Maybe it is a dream. like a pink light, or actually, I don't even know what color it was. It wasn't like any color I'd ever seen before. It looks like a meteorite. I mean, it's radioactive. I mean, it's from space, right? Meteorites are generally no more dangerous than ordinary rocks. How can something that big just disappear? Did you plant those? No. Ward, you come here for a sec. Oh, God. What are you doing? Shh. It's talking to me. Who's talking to you? A man in the well. It's in the static, it's in the moisture. It's in here, it's out there. And what's out there is in here now. Everything's under control. Why are you so in denial? That thing from the meteorite changes everything around it. Can you believe me now? I don't know what I believe anymore. gave Claire and I a greater sense of purpose. Whoa. Every day brought with it new memories. <laughs> Each one sacred in its own way. It doesn't feel real. I know exactly what you mean. taking this photograph, we were, but we were in Seattle. How would you feel if you could no longer trust your own memories? You remember the children's book when you were growing up about the family of bears? The Berenstein Bears. Berenstein, S-T-E-I-N. We've been hard to reach lately. I just, just started noticing some things. And... Like what kind of things? We're living in parallel universes. Can you picture the Monopoly man? Yeah. What's on his face? Monocle. Apparently, it's never been the case. The Mandela effect. Either we're sliding between parallel realities, or like a simulation, and it's glitching out. Do you hear yourself right now? Maybe it's in my head, Claire, but what if it's not? Maybe none of this is real. What makes you think this is gonna bring your daughter back anyway? I design games. I code. If this is a simulation. I mean, if this is code, then I can do something. There's no small thing shutting the world down. There's something you're gonna need to understand. Ideas are dangerous things. What 
would you want to be known for on earth? We only have a short time on this planet. You want to become the person that you were born to be? Don't waste your time on all the junk of life. What am I doing? Spend your precious hours doing what will bring out the real you. The brilliant, passionate you. That's ready to contribute something meaningful into this world. I got the gig. I really need a haircut today, man. Can you fit me in? Whoa, whoa, sorry. Probably for doing this funny cowboy dance. <laughs> Great. $20,000. That's what I'm going to pay you to kill my wife. The devil comes to meet you. I've been watching you. This is destiny. Be sure to take my baby. Residents are advised to stay indoors. We got a hurricane. Would you like to make a call? You best get comfy. If you need help. All signs clearly point to you being the murderer. Tell me what happened. I didn't do anything. If he finds you hiding. Is it true that your wife don't treat you right? He will surely know. She drives me insane. The devil comes. I know you got this in you. Without the sweet touch of love, we ain't got nothing. The devil comes. She's got a dark side. Darker than hell. The devil comes. He will not let you go. You're gonna have to trust me. See what you did? You expect me to believe you didn't commit murder? Look in our basement. What's he talking about? He's a monster. <laughs> you know that. voice in your head the one that said sneak away here is the place it came from Want to fly? We can fly. Really fly? Fly! Tell Mama I'm just staying a little longer. And tell her I miss her and I love her. Beware, children. You can leave yourself behind. You won't even know when it happened. This is where lost boys go when they're really lost. All children grow up. But some, the wild ones, the ones with a light in their eye. Escape. <laughs>